the first thing I want to do is I want to double space my paragraph so that I can do different things to it. So I'm going to highlight my paragraph. And let me just tell you, I've seen a lot of people double space and I wish you could see my air quotes, but a lot of people when they're double spacing, they come to the end of a sentence, they press return once, they press return twice, and they're like, woohoo, double space. Mm -mm, no, we are not going to double space. We are going to 1.5 space. I don't know if there's a term for that. If you figure it out and let me know, it's possible bot bucks in your future. But um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and highlight and we are not going to, uh, I don't know what the proper word is, but we're not going to do the double spacing in the old school way. We are going to do it in the appropriate manner. And up here at the options area, there's this little, um, well, it's if you hover over it, it says line spacing, which is what we're doing. So if you click on it, you can see the different options. We've got 1.15, we've got 1.5, we've got 2.0. We want this 1.5, okay? Now, we can do it that way. Again, I'm always gonna show you a few ways to do it. We can go to Format and Paragraph, and right here where it says Line Spacing, you can click on it and say 1.5, and that's the other way to do it. So those are two ways to do it. I don't know if there's a shortcut. I don't think it said anything there. Yeah, there's no shortcut really to line space. So there's really only two ways to do that one. So um, that's how you do 1.5 spacing. Now we're going to spell check this bad boy. And what I want to do is I'm gonna go to edit and I'm just kidding. That's in a different program. Just kidding. Er, let's rewind. Okay, go to um, tools. That's where you go. And if you ever don't know where something is, you can always go over to the help and go, hey, I need to spell check. So it says menu adding spelling and grammar. And what's amazing about Max, I don't know if PCs do this, I'm hoping they do, is that when you um, click on something and you say, help, I want to go to spell check, it will hover over. I mean, look at it. It is basically saying, um, hi, this is what you want. So, and that works also in other programs. But again, I don't know if that's a Mac thing or a PC thing. So if it's a PC thing, yay. If not, then I'm sorry, um, then this is just a Mac portion of the project here that we're not going to be doing. So anyways, I'm going to go to Tools and Spelling. And you can see that it's already picking up the ones with the little red squiggles under them. And it says, so if you're ever out at sea, and I did that on purpose because um, that's how a pirate talks. So for this one, I'm going to hit Ignore because I want it to be misspelled. I purposely misspelled it that way. Um, matey is another one I purposely misspelled, so we're going to ignore that one. And this, so you have to say it like a pirate. So it's, you know, if you're ever out at sea, matey, and you see the SS River Rose, tell them you know black belt beauty. See, that's my acting abilities right there. So I'm just going to ignore that one too. So I guess these are really just a bad example. I am being terrible. But here we go. Here's the actual stuff that we need to fix. So vessel is spelled incorrectly, and I want it to be spelled correctly. So I'm going to change that. Uh, what the pirate realize is that this is just terribly written. Anyway, we're going to go back to that one. So I'm going to next sentence this one. Uh, I used my Nina skills, although I love Nina, my friend. Um, that's not what I meant. I meant ninja. Then it's not always the top suggestion. See, this is great because this is not the top suggestion. I'm going to hit ninja. Offer it, I think, is what I wanted to use here. Yep. And it even gives me grammar um, suggestions. So the pirate were. So, but there was more than one pirate. So... They're giving me two suggestions. I want this one. The pirates were so impressed. Uh, all right, so that and they, now they're changing all kinds of stuff here. Microsoft Word, you're just being crazy now. We'll just pick that one. Oh no, I wanted this one. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. So you do have to read it now. Uh, not every, not every spell check is always correct. There was that one sentence. I'm going to reread this really quick. Um, not out loud, though. But I'm going to reread this really quick. I would suggest rereading it really quick before you are, move on to the next thing. And I am going to do a little video about the things that the spell check missed because it's not foolproof. You do have to reread what you've done. Therefore, um, 
you know, it's not missing anything. Sometimes they'll spell check will change a word and it makes everything completely crazily different. So reread your stuff. Um, come back and I'll show you what I found in mine because I already know that there are a couple things and we'll move on from there.